in weather. It's a quiet night in Gadsden on the Coosa River, but we're seeing clouds thicken and the humidity staying very high and it's just steamy out there tonight. There are some showers over West Alabama. Some trying to sneak up from uh, down in Otago County into the southern edge of Chilton County, but this is the by far the bigger batch of rain right now that's working out of eastern Mississippi over into West Alabama, Pickensville, Ethelsville, McShan, up toward the Shaw community. It's raining lightly on the north side of Fayette now and then up toward Hamilton and over toward Detroit as well. And they got the showers here in Pickens that are trying to get into Tuscaloosa County too. This is low impact kind of rain. Uh, in fact, by tomorrow morning, you may not even realize it has rained at all unless the brief shower still lingers during that point. We've got this uh, disturbance out to the west that just keeps sending moisture and other little disturbances our way. It's one big mass of just churned up atmosphere out here over Texas, and I, I think this is a good way to represent what we're looking at. First of all, you got the wind off the Gulf, bringing the Gulf moisture northward and all the red and yellow here. Think about that like it's just the atmosphere being churned up and each time one of these red blobs passes overhead, we get showers and storms out of it because it's the muscle needed to create those things. Well, look what happens by Sunday. It really organizes into one big disturbance that has the jet stream involved. And when this comes overhead on Sunday, it's going to help to destabilize the atmosphere and kick off quite a few heavy thunderstorms. And that's why Sunday is going to be an impact day on Saturday. It's not that we won't have any thunderstorms at all. It's just they won't be as widespread, forecasting a high close to 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Looking at the potential for lightning, there's not much there before 2 p.m., but I think we'll see a flare up of thunderstorms by early evening, and some of those could be pretty heavy with some lightning, but by 7 p.m., most of that's gone. Tomorrow, a good day to have the WVTM 13 app. On Sunday, the high about 87, and watch the thunderstorms explode some of these are going to be very heavy Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, potentially causing some localized flooding and one or two of them could have some strong gusty winds and of course a lot of dangerous lightning. There's your seven day Sunday is our impact day. Scattered storms still likely on Monday and then as the storms thin out, the weather gets hotter highs back in the 90s for most of next week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.